Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to clip or let me say how to select a certain feature which is shared among very many places and you clip it onto a map to be only in one place. So let me say here I'm going to use rivers and you might find that a certain river, let me say here I'm going to use Mukono district, you find a certain river is in Mukono district but is for also found in very many other districts and you want your map to only indicate it to be in Mukono district. So how do you do that? So at first you first go to the attribute table, attribute open attribute table, this control F. After pressing control F, then you type the name of the river you want. So I want the river called Seziwa. So it's called, the river is called Seziwa. So I click select features. So like that. So it's going to select, so it is showing me here, it is selecting 20 matching features. So you can see them also here, so I can close this layer. So after that I come to the same layer, I right click, go to export or save as. So here, once as I'm saving, I click here, save on the selected features. So here I type that this is river, it is river Seziwa, like that. So it's called river says well, then I click OK. So if I remove this layer, I hide it. So it will show me the river is already here. So let me try to zoom. So as I'm zooming here, I think you can see the river is already here. So I can increase its width here. So you can see it here. So it is showing me it is already in Mukono district. It's moving. It's going to Kayunga. And I don't want this. I want it only to be in Mukono district. How do I do that? So it is a, an easy step. So what you do, you go to the vector layer here up. Vector. So you select geoprocessing tools. And there you select clip. So what, what we want? We want to clip our river Seziwa. And you want to clip it onto Mokono district. And these two should be having the same EPSG. And after that, you click on run. So, okay. Now I can close this. It is already showing me it is here. It is already here. So, it is showing me it is clipped. So, it is very easy. So, I can hide this. I think the clipped one is already active here. And it's showing me only it is found only in Mokono district uh when i bring this one back so you can see it it's moving in kayunga everywhere so when i remove it you see that so i what i can do i can click in this layer of river says the one i first saved i remove it you remove it it goes so once it goes i so the clipped one is it's going to stay here and i right click you go to rename the rename layer. So here I type river Seziwa like that. So and my map is already. So it is showing me river Seziwa only in Mukono district. So guys, feel free to subscribe to Base Science in Reality. Thank you.